Hi, my name is Kayleen and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be crocheting this very simple drawstring bag. It is absolutely great for beginners. To make this bag, I'll be using fine weight cotton yarn with a 3.75 millimeter hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and something to measure with. Stitch markers are optional, but I recommend that you prepare at least two. So once you have all the materials you need, let's get started. To begin this project, you're going to make a slip knot. And we're going to be chaining in multiples of three. So to demonstrate, I'm going to make 24. Okay, so I have 24 chains. Now skip the first chain and make a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. And I'm going to insert my hook into the bottom loop as I find that this creates a neater foundation row. And before moving on, you can mark the first stitch with your stitch marker to make it easier to locate later. So now that I've marked my first stitch, I'm going to work another single crochet into the next chain. And do the same into the next chain. Now work a single crochet into every chain until you only have one chain remaining. Alright, I'm at the end of the chain, with one chain left. We're going to work three single crochets into this last chain. So go ahead and work your first single crochet into this last chain. Now rotate your work just a little, and work the second single crochet into the same chain. Hold this yarn tail down against your work, and work the single crochet over it. Now rotate just a little more and work the third single crochet into the same chain again over this yarn tail. Now we have three single crochets in this last chain and almost all of the single crochets you made earlier are upside down. And we're going to continue working into these remaining chain loops the opposite side of those stitches. So make a single crochet into the next stitch over the yarn tail. and do the same into the next stitch. And again into the next stitch. And before the yarn tail is completely hidden, gently give it a pull and this tightens up the gap in the last chain. Now continue making single crochets all the way across until you have one stitch left. Alright, here's how my work looks now. There's one stitch left and we're going to put two single crochets into this last stitch. Now join with a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet, right where the stitch marker is. And a little tip for you to make your joints tighter, is to make your slip stitch a little differently. Normally when you make a slip stitch, you do a yarn over and pull through. But what I like to do, is instead of doing a yarn over, I do a yarn under, which means your yarn goes under your hook, then pull through, and you'll notice that you get a tighter join. So this finishes off the base of your bag, and you should have a total of 48 stitches all the way around. And the base of my bag is about 13 and a half centimeters long. 
Now we begin the body of the bag. Make a chain of two. And I'm not going to count this as a stitch. Now make a half double crochet into the same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through everything. This is going to be the first stitch, so I'm going to mark the top of this stitch. Now skip two stitches and make three half double crochets into the next stitch. Then again, skip two stitches and make three half double crochets into the next stitch. And continue doing this all the way around. Okay, at the end of the round, you should have two onward stitches. And you should also see the slip stitch at the base of the beginning chain of two. Before we finish off, you're going to skip these two stitches, skip this slip stitch, and ignore this chain of two, and put two more half double crochets into the first stitch where you already have one half double crochet. So now you have three half double crochets in this first stitch. Now join with a yarn under slip stitch as I explained before into the first stitch. And this finishes off the first round for the body of the bag with 16 groups of three half double crochets. To begin the next round, chain two. And remember that this doesn't count as a stitch. Now turn your work to the other side. And right now you're looking at the inside of your bag. Next, put one half double crochet into the next stitch. So it's the stitch that follows the chain of two and not the one where the chain is in. Now mark the top of this first stitch. Next, skip two stitches and put three half double crochets into the next stitch. Then again, skip two stitches and put three half double crochets into the next stitch. Now continue doing this all the way around. Once you get to the end of the round, there should be one stitch left and you'll also see the first stitch of the previous round where you made the slip stitch. We're going to skip these stitches, ignore this chain, and you're going to add two more half double crochets into the first stitch where you already have one half double crochet. And to finish off this round, make the yarn under slip stitch into the first stitch. And you should still have 16 groups of three half double crochets. Now to begin the third round, chain two. Then turn your work back to the other side so that you're looking at the outside of your bag. Now all you have to do is keep repeating what you just did in the previous round until your bag is about 15 centimeters high. And don't forget to always turn your work at the beginning of each round. This is very important because if you don't do this, you're not going to get the texture we want for this project. So go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back when we're all done. Alright, I'm back with 15 rows and I decided to stop at 14 centimeters. 
and as you can see the right side of my stitches is facing out in this last row and to finish off the body of the bag just like in all of the previous rounds don't forget to add two more half double crochets into the first stitch before joining into the top of the first half double crochet so I'm going to add two more half double crochets into the first stitch then join with the yarn under slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet that's all there is to it for the body of the bag now you can cut and weave in the end of your yarn Alright, to complete this drawstring bag, we'll be weaving in two strings. One of them enters from the right and the other from the left. And to keep it simple, I made two chains of 86 and they're about 44 centimeters long. And we'll be using these gaps in between the groups of half double crochets in the second row from the top. And here I've marked the first group of half double crochets, the one where the join is, and also the eighth group of half double crochets. So you should have 7 groups of half double crochets in between your stitch markers, front and back. So once you're ready, let's start weaving in the strings to finish off this project. Using your yarn needle, insert the chain into the gap next to the first group of half double crochets that we marked. Then weave the chain under and over each group of half double crochets all the way around. And I've just pulled my chain out through the gap, the other gap next to the first group where we started. Now you can remove the yarn needle. Then adjust to make both ends the same length. And you can go ahead and remove the stitch marker. And we're done with one of the chains. You're going to do the same for the other chain. Insert it into the gap next to the other group that we marked. And weave the chain in and out of the same gaps as the other chain. And keep going all the way around. And I've pulled my chain out through the other gap right next to the group where we started. So now this group is in between the two ends of your chain. You can go ahead and remove this stitch marker. 
and again adjust to make all the ends the same length. And finally, tie a knot on both ends. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching and following along. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you found this helpful in any way and also share this video with anyone who might like it. If you made this drawstring bag, I'd be really happy to hear from you, so please do leave me a comment. And I'll see you again in my next video.